In this video, we are going to learn about self-similarity. Now, self-similarity is sort of what it sounds like. If you remember, to be similar means when two objects are the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. So one object is an enlargement of the other. So to be self-similar means a shape that is similar to itself in a way. So specifically, an object is self-similar if you can take one part of the object and enlarge it or shrink it in order to create the whole original object again. So if one part can be enlarged or shrunk, to create the original object. So this triangle that we have to the left is an example of an object that is self-similar. Because if, for example, you look at this part of the whole object there, the whole shape, you'll see that if you enlarged that, you'd have something that looks like the whole thing. If we keep going in, and in and in, it will look like the same whole shape again. Another example we're gonna look at right now. This is a snowflake example, and it's moving to show you what is the idea of self-similarity. As we keep zooming in further and further on this snowflake, it just looks like the same thing again and again and again. So the pattern is created over and over again. Back to our original triangle here, how you often will create an object that is self-similar is to repeat the same process over and over again, and that's called an iterative process. When you keep repeating the same thing again and again, each time you repeat, it's called an iteration. So for example, if we wanted to create this triangle over here, the first thing that you would do is make one big triangle. And then inside that triangle, you want to draw this other triangle such that, and I haven't drawn it perfectly, but you would want all three of these triangles to be similar to the original. Then you leave this triangle in the middle blank and do the same thing again to each of the three triangles here. So repeat the same process of drawing a triangle in the middle, and then you'll repeat it again, and each time you do that, that's another iteration. So here would be the second iteration. You draw a triangle in the center of each of these, and that triangle, again, won't be drawn in. And now we have nine triangles to repeat this in in our next iteration. Those are right here. And it's going to quickly get very full. But the idea is you could keep repeating this forever and ever and ever. The only thing that's to really stopping you is the sides of your pen and your eyes because eventually, not too quickly, it will get too small. But if you kept zooming in and zooming in, you would be able to do it. So the next iteration would look like this. Again, we draw a triangle in each of those nine highlighted blue triangles. And now we have 27 new triangles to repeat this process in in the next iteration, and it would go on and on and on forever. And that's why if we look over here at this one, it almost looks like it's shaded in because it's the process has been repeated so many times you can't even really see and distinguish between all the different triangles. So that's the idea of self-similarity. It's when you could zoom in on one part of the object and it looks exactly like the original object did itself. It's pretty cool, it has a lot to do with fractals, and you can create them by repeating the sim same process over and over again like we did right here, and that's called an iterative process.